Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in again. We are still on the test client and I got some comments asking me to show you guys the Arcane Umbra set. So the, the set consists out of seven pieces and you need to wear all seven pieces to get the super awesome set effect. Please keep in mind the potential on these items is not something you get on default, but because these accounts were set for us for the test client, so it's not something that all Umbra Arcane Umbra sets will have, obviously. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that the Umbra set does not have a top and bottom. Instead, it has an overall. And one of the best things of this set, to be honest, is the staff, the weapon. It has like 353 magic attack. That's pretty insane, right? So how can you get this stuff? Well, you can get coins from Kanto, but to get these coins, you need to bring him 10 Arcane River Droplet Stones and one Butterfly Droplet Stone. You can get the Arcane River Droplet Stones from monsters, from any monster in Arcane River, but that drop rate is really low, like really low. And the Butterfly Droplet, you can get it from Lucid. Now, this is where the problem comes in, because you can only defeat Lucid once a week. And you have to give Kanto a total of 11 droplets, so one butterfly droplet and 10 arcane droplets to get one coin. So Lucy does not drop these equipments, she just drops that droplet. So one weapon costs 24 coins. So that means that it will take 24 weeks for you to gather 24 coins. So that means it's really, it's really a hassle to get a weapon. Just a weapon. However, the weapon is really good, to be honest. I mean, it gives you like 340 attack. That's insane. 347 magic attack. That's, that, that's crazy. That's really crazy. I mean, the weapon attack on these things is really good. You might consider swapping these out for your Fafnir gear, for your Fafnir weapon, but you will have to lose 30% boss damage if you do that because you'll lose the, the final set effect. Uh, also, I've saw people asking, is the Arcane Umbra set better and should I change my Fafnir gear, my level 150 gear for this set? And to be quite frank, I'm not sure if you should. Because, well, for starters, it takes years to just get the entire set because grinding coins is such a hassle, such a pain. One coin a week is, is pretty rough. Plus, you're missing out because the set has... And overall, you're missing out six lines of potential in your pants. So three lines regular potential, three lines bonus potential, plus a nebulite or whatever you have. So you're seriously missing out on some stats. Also, you have to swap out your cape, which is probably a super awesome cape with 50 weapon attack by now. And your other set effects, for example, your shoulder, which I'm presuming you're, most people are using the Empress shoulder. So they probably also have some set effect with that. So you're losing a lot of set effects. So it might not be worth it in the end. However, I do recommend swapping out your weapon because you can get so much more weapon attack that it might compensate for the miss missing boss damage. But that's totally up to you guys. So this is a new level 200 equipment set. I hope this clears some things up. Make sure to check out our playlist of all the other MapleStory test client content they were uploading right now. We've uploaded like six videos yesterday. We're probably gonna upload way more in the upcoming days. Make sure to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.